as sun meets sea on day two, Stephen, Luke, and Chase begin to see that this adventure will push them beyond just the physical. But it remains unknown what they'll find. Local waterman, world champion tandem surfer Bear Wozniak embodies the Hawaiian spirit and provides a much needed compass. I've got the traditional Hawaiian lace for you guys. Oh, nice. See if I can do this. So I can put it over you, and we're gonna Hawaiian nose breathe. Like that. Bear came in to really be our spiritual beacon, sort of our spiritual compass. The series is called The Clean Break. What does that, what does that mean to each of you? I'd like to kind of, what does it mean to you? I'm a father of a five-year-old. You know, the last five years have been just dedicated to my family. And now you're kind of trying to take your pulse again and reconnect with yourself? Yeah. See who you are at this moment? You know, yeah. Yeah. I think all deep down all of us want to live like a great story. This is a step in really finding out, you know, some more about that story that, you know, that I'm, I'm meant to live. When you, when you look at the people in your life, you know, your friends, your family, the society, advertisements, they have expectations of you. The most important lesson spiritually is detachment. To detach from what the world, what your family, what society's expectations are. I think that was the first time I really started to think deep about what this, what this trip might pull out of me and then how that was applicable to the rest of my life. I'm looking forward to the thrill of it all, but I'm really looking forward to seeing you know, how I can really push myself and seeing when I want to put that wall up and to see if I'm really going to push through, if I'm really going to accomplish that, if I'm really going to do that. The best place to get perspective is to live on the edge. So that's where you're going to be living for the next little while. You're going to be living on the edge. Tandem surf champion and waterman Bear Wozniak pointed them down their spiritual path. He has now returned to steer them to its conclusion. So I just want to try to get a little bit of traction and ask you guys, you know, what was it you discovered that kind of surprised you? I think my biggest thing uh, before coming on this trip was, was my job and, and my career. And um, I think that I've kind of resolved that it's not for me. I'm ready to, to kind of step out of that comfort zone. Wow, that's a huge thing. And, uh, and move on. I'm so proud of you because the hardest thing in the world is golden handcuffs. Mm -hmm. They're the hardest thing in the world to get out of because you've got a comfortable living and everyone around you saying you're on the right path. Right. And to get off that railroad track is really hard to do. It never felt so great to say that with uh, you know, such assurance. He said he could see a change in me from when we started to where I was. You know, I have a lot of dreams. I have a lot of things inside me that I feel like I want to achieve and I can't achieve, and I'm my biggest critic, 100%. The pressure that I feel like is on my life is from me. It's not from anybody else. The lessons that you've learned are like just seeds right now that have been planted, and they're going to grow and grow and grow, and you're going to gain so much more wisdom and knowledge. So I just want to say again what an incredible transformation I've seen in you men. And we love you. Thank you, Barry. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you very much.